What is good ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing as you already know. And um, right about now, remember to like, remember to subscribe to this channel. Of course, more content will be on its way to you very shortly. So this blog here, we're just going to talk briefly about um, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, um, third installment, the third fight. Now, um, as of today, I heard a bit of news. I think it was from uh, Mike Coppinger and there's a few other YouTube uh, channels also and um, they've all sort of reported that um, apparently we're going to have the third installment of Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury and it should be taking place in December and um, I believe Bob Aaron was talking about a um, it's going to be held in a stadium um, the stadium's going to be a large one in America I think it's one of those um, possibly the American football teams or something like that and they're going to host it over there they're not going to have it obviously to capacity but they're hoping to have I think it's around 14,000 uh, fans in attendance uh, there'll be social distancing as of course there's still this uh, COVID uh, going around so um, they're hoping to have a crowd about sort of 14,000 people the stadium is probably going to be huge I think I think the stadium can probably hold about 50 60,000 but you know they're going to sort of hold it somewhere like that massive where they'll then be able to um, space people out the tickets I would imagine will be at a very very high premium uh, because they're going to need to make money somehow um, they won't be able to fill the stadium, but somehow they're going to need to uh, make money to sort of justify this third fight. Um, and also some more news is that uh, Javon Sugar Hill Stewart, Emmanuel Stewart's nephew, who is the, of course, as we already know, the trainer of uh, Tyson Fury's, you know, taken over of her as head coach. He's um, in England now. He's uh, come over to Tyson Fury now, so it looks like as far as Team Fury is concerned, um, they've got a fight to prepare for. So, you know, Sugar Hill, he's here. He's over here in England. Um, him and Tyson Fury, they made a video together that he's arrived. He's in England, so um, there's very positive signs for... New challenge. Nobody speak to each other anymore, people, the human race. It's going to be a good morning. It's going to be a good afternoon. It's going to be a good evening. There you go, that's a challenge. For um, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3. Um, and we should be looking at that fight taking place before the end of this year, if all things are um, well. Uh, it's one of those, though, where um, I can say I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, it will be exciting, I suppose, to some degree, but I think overall it's one of those fights where we pretty much know um already what's going to happen i don't think um we're really going to see anything that we haven't already seen in the first two fights i mean for me it's it's just going to be another tyson fury victory um i would not be surprised if tyson fury was able to stop deontay wilder again um, I think he'll be able to do that. I think he'll be, you know, Fury's going to be taking a tremendous amount of uh, confidence going into this fight. And I don't see anything that Wilder has in his arsenal that he can really um, do to Fury to sort of change the result. I mean, he's got the power. He's got the fight ending power. But um, again, I think with the experience of having the two fights, um, Fury's slightly, you know, Fury's quite a lot better skill-wise. So I think Fury's going to be just too slick, too crafty, and uh, far too clever for Deontay Wilder. I think it's one of those fights that, you know, the result's probably going to be the same as the last one, unless Deontay Wilder has learned, you know, some new boxing skills, unless he's he's got significantly better than he was. Uh, in the last fight, I think there's only going to be one winner. I think, it, it, you know, most uh, boxing fans would agree in it. You know, in a funny way, it kind of, 
dispels all these uh, rumors and this this whole glove gate conspiracy that a lot of people were talking about where fury had something in his gloves or fury cheated somehow i think all that's now um squarely out the window because i think if that stuff was true or if he really believed it then he wouldn't be going into a third fight so i think um you know that puts to bed all those rumors too um yeah i think again this is a fight as i've said um it's not one that i'm really excited for you know it's not one that i'm really intrigued by because i think we've already seen what's going to happen but it is one that i am kind of looking forward to because i think it will finally just put this whole fury wilder thing to rest i think we already know who the better fighter is that's tyson fury and um yeah i i just want to see it see it happen and and finally get that out of the way and then once that's out of the way and if joshua does deal with pulev if there's not an upset there then you know we can then look towards undisputed uh, next year 2021 so um yeah that's just a bit of news for you guys and that's just my um thoughts for now and until next time it's mko pugilism over and out i'll see you on the next one